Okay, hello everybody, my name's Tom. I'm with Legendary Marine here in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And today I'm gonna to be showing you this beautiful 2018 Sea Hunt 211 Ultra. Okay, so up here at the bow, we have a dedicated anchor locker. Sea Hunt uses all stainless steel. It's 3 16th grade stainless steel. It's high quality. Anchor locker is finished inside and out. The door. Also got a dedicated slot here for your anchor line to come out so that it's not hung up on the door. We've got standard bow cushions, a standard backrest. I'm six foot two and I can comfortably lean back and still have plenty of room for my feet. This is a very big 21 foot boat. The combing pads are standard. The grab rails, standard. We don't use plastic, we use, again, 3 16th grade stainless steel. The vinyl is a new grade of vinyl they used starting last year, and it's extremely thick and durable. It's something you could easily drop a pair of pliers on and it won't puncture the vinyl. Now that all the cushions are removed, if you're out going fishing and you wanna keep the cushions free from any you know, squid ink or fish guts or anything, they're easily removed and they're not stowed away nicely in the center console. To the starboard here, You've got a 110 quart insulated cooler fish box. It drains overboard, not into the bilge, so you won't get fish stink in the bilge. To the port side, we have a 72 quart insulated cooler. Again, drains overboard, not into the bilge. If you fill these two boxes, you've had a really good day fishing. And then back here, we have an insulated cooler where you can keep all your refreshments, Coke, beer, sandwiches, whatever you want. And it's uh, very well insulated and it doubles as a seat. Also, we have stainless steel cup holders. We've got two on each side, port and starboard. So when you're relaxing up here at Crab Island or down at the island, you have room for your drinks. On this boat, we've got the optional hard top. Uh, standard with a T top, the hard top is option with the color match, Abaco green underside, it matches the hull color. Uh, when you get the hard top, your speakers are molded in. They're not loosely hanging or rattling around. You've got molded in spreader lights and you've got a misting system for the days when it's really hot. You can stay cool with some nice cool mists of water coming over you. Also got the rocket launcher rod holders, four of them here, and we've chosen to add on the king rod holders. So if you're trolling and you want your rods out to the side, you've got king rod holders. Up front, we've got the molded in radio box, storage for your Simrad radio, VHF. You've got also a storage in here for all kinds of manuals or books or anything you want. And this is molded in. It's not attached or screwed on, so it's not gonna be rattling around while you're off running. Okay, so new in 2018, there's this adhesive pad up here that'll keep your stuff from sliding around while you're rocking and rolling out there. You can put phones up there, sunglasses, anything you want to, uh, to kind of get stuck to that so that you're not losing it and it ends up in the deck of the boat. Also, uh, last year they started with this enormous dash panel. This dash will accommodate, if you'd like, two 12-inch screens. Now, we have the 9-inch Simrad touchscreen on here. You can get a 12-inch, and you can even fit a second 12-inch here. So it's a huge dash for a 21-foot boat. You typically don't see that in that size boat. Over here, we've got a USB port and an auxiliary. You can charge your phone from there. And this is a neat little doodad here. You can actually put your phone in there, it'll hold your phone in, and you can Bluetooth to the Infinity Stereo. So if you've got a favorite playlist you want to hear, you can just da 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 play it to the phone, to play it to the Infinity Stereo, comes out on your speakers, and you can listen to whatever you want. We also have rocker switches all the way throughout with breakers. So you've got rocker switches that are backlit with breakers, another 12 volt accessory plug, and then this is an upgrade. You actually have uh, Yamaha's command link gauges. Uh, that's two upgrades. Standard is an analog gauge. Then you have your normal digital gauge. The, uh, these gauges actually have fuel flow, uh, trip odometer, hour meter. It has your trim indicators. It's got your uh, fuel uh, gauge. It's got your uh, temperature, your oil, your battery. All that's here and you can mow through all of those and take a look at any of those anytime you want. And uh, finally, we've got a uh, optional stainless steel tilt steering wheel. Also two stainless steel cup holders for the helm and the first mate. You notice here we've got the optional powder coated T-top. Um, these use uh, D-tubing, Sea Hunt uses D-tubing. And the reason that's uh, important is a lot of people use a big round tube. These are ergonomically friendly. You don't always have a room between the gunnel and the, and the T-top. Uh, they hang out a lot of other boats and you kick them with your toes and hit them with your knees as you walk by. These D-tubing is a much tighter fit to the console. 
Okay, so at the helm, we've got a leaning post here. It's down in the seating position now. I've got plenty of room again for me and my first mate. Also got a foot pad down here that I can put my feet on rather than have them dangling around. That retracts. You've got bolsters that also retract and form a wonderful, nice lumbar support. So as you're driving along, bouncing along, you've got the lumbar support in your lower back on this boat. This leaning post has also been redesigned by Sea Hunt to, again, be ergonomically friendly. Most leaning posts connect here and then way back here, again, taking up space in the back that you could stub a toe or knock a knee on. These actually concave underneath to only have the supports up front. So it's kind of an a, a S shape going back here. And then of course underneath, we don't have it in here, but there is a cooler that comes along with it that slides out, get your stuff out and slide it right back. Also on the leaning post are four rocket launcher rod holders. So you've got plenty of rod storage along with the four up here, the four here, the two king rod holders. Then you've also got four gunnel mount rod, rod holders, two on each side. These are angled, so the rod will go out that way when you're trolling. This one goes straight back. And then of course these sit up high. Uh, again, we've got rod storage down here, two on each side of the boat. Got a raw water wash down here. So you can actually just unscrew this, attach a little hose to this. And if you get some fish guts or some squid ink or something on the boat or spill something, you can hose it down real nice. Also, just like in the front, you've got bolster pad, combing pads all the way back. So when you're fishing up against the edge of the boat, your knees aren't wearing out from hitting bare fiberglass. You've got a nice cushiony cockpit combing pad and that's all the way around the boat, that's standard. Then we've got a fresh water shower back here, transom shower. Sometimes when you're out swimming in salt water and you get out, it's that sticky, salty feeling. You can hose off with nice fresh water and feel clean and good again. Then coming up here, you've got three row seating. This is something that a lot of boats don't offer. Uh, you have maybe a double hatch seating on each side. This is three row seating and all of these cushions can be removed and stowed away. So if you're out fishing for the day and you don't want these cushions in your way, you can put them in the center console area. These are all, again, finished, just like our anchor locker, all of our hatches are finished. Sea Hunt uses a really neat thing called a static hinge. It's an actual friction hinge. If you've ever uh, lifted up your live well, for example, and went to get a bait and the, the, the spring is bad or the gas shock hinge is bad, and you had to hold it with an elbow as you're dipping bait out, you don't have to do that anymore. These static friction hinges will stay any place you want. So here we've got a five gallon bucket. This is great if you're a bait netter and you throw a cast net, you can tuck your bait net away in there and it'll stay out of the way. You're not getting your hooks caught up in netting and all that. Nice tucking away in there, or you can put you know, some bait in there to thaw, like some squid or some cigar minnows or whatever. Here's our live well. It's insulated live well. Reason that's important is if you're not fishing for the day, you can use this as a cooler. Another thing about an insulated live well is we want live frisky baits when we're fishing. It attracts the fish when they see something live and frisky. Your baits, when they get in really hot areas, they tend to die off and they become sluggish. Insulated keeps them nice and cool and comfortable and uh, fresh. Finally, over here, we've got our battery compartment. We've got room in there for two to three batteries. We've got a battery switch up front that's easy to access. Just reach in, bang, bang, it's on and off. And finally, we've got a cup holder, a stainless steel cup holder on the starboard and a stainless steel cup holder on the port. Back here, we have a walkthrough transom. You hardly ever, if at all, see this on a 21 foot center console boat. Walkthrough transom is great. If you've got equipment in your hand or some older passengers, they can step from the dock right onto the platform, walk through easily without having to jump down into the boat and risk an injury or dropping something. Back here, you've got a recessed ladder. A lot of times you've seen boats with a ladder sitting up on top and it's easy to catch something on, it's easy to stub a toe on. This is recessed. It's also a four-step ladder. A lot of manufacturers will try to save some money and give you a two-step ladder or a three-step ladder and you end up trying to get your foot on that lowest rung because it's way up here. This ladder drops way down, it's easy to board the boat. Finally over here, you've got three additional rod holders. And here you've got some bilge access. And again, finished, sealed, stainless steel. Here on the side of the console, we've got courtesy lights. They're LED lights. They can light up the night if you happen to want to go to a restaurant, come out and it's dark. You can leave those on. They don't uh, burn up much battery power. It'll leave you a nice little lighting to come into the boat. We've got a locking head compartment here. 
This is a good size head compartment. A lot of 21 foot center consoles didn't used to do this. Uh, you can actually get inside there, even change clothes if you had it to. And uh, of course we've got ours with the porta potty, a little netting here for some toilet paper or anything else you want to store. These Sea Hunts are a fantastic riding boat. You won't find a lot of 21 foot boats that handle like this boat. It's a father and son company. They take a lot of pride in their boats, just as you would if your, your son and, and your dad, for example, were building boats. They're really proud of them. They're built in South Carolina. The company was started in 1995. One of the things that makes this boat ride so well is they have a variable degree transitioning hull. And what that means is when you enter into a wave at the bow of the boat, you've got 50 degrees of V. So that slices through the wave and starts the separation of the water like a hot knife through butter. Transitioning back to midship, you've got 20 degrees of dead rise. And then finally the wave transitions and the boat transitions through the wave back at a 16 degree dead rise. The reason that's important is uh, you wanna have the boat flattened out somewhat at the back. If you had a 50 degree dead rise the entire length, your boat would fall from one side to the other. In addition to that, you wouldn't draft very much. You would uh, not be able to go in shallow water. This boat will draft 13 inches of water. So I can go shallow water fishing one day, and I can take it offshore and go off saltwater offshore fishing the next.